Hello. I've called this pause for thought, it's not fair. When we think of the words, it's not fair, some people will think of climate change. A recent report highlighted that the poorest 50% of people are responsible for just 10% of the issues caused by climate change. Those who have contributed least to climate change are the same people who are impacted most. Climate change is not just about saving our planet. It is also a matter of justice for the world's poorest people. When we look at the problems and loss that climate change brings, we can draw parallels with the prodigal son who needlessly squandered all the things he had inherited. There is a danger that the wealthier people and countries in the world are living with selfish values and reckless behaviours that destroy what we have inherited and jeopardise what we pass down to future generations. Thankfully, the prodigal son came to his senses and showed a willingness to change his ways. As we reflect on climate change, it should be our prayer that we, along with all people across the world, would also come to our senses and realise that there is a better way, that we need to radically change the story for the world's poorest and bring justice across the world. In the parable of the workers in the vineyard, Matthew chapter 20, verses 1 to 16, those who are hired first and had worked all day in the vineyard, in the heat, were certainly saying loud and clear, it's not fair, when the foreman paid them the same as those men who had worked for only one hour. They grumbled, you have made them equal to us. Our sense of fairness and justice is based on what we think we deserve. Those who wor worked all day felt they deserved to be paid more than the others, rather than what they had agreed to work for. The question really is, what do we deserve? The kingdom of God is a kingdom of grace. All those who worked for the master did so only because he invited them to, not because they deserved it. Through this parable, Jesus wants us to recognise that all we have is an incredible, generous gift from God. We do not deserve it. We have not earned it. We have been given a gift. We have been entrusted with the responsibility to be good stewards of this gift, of his wonderfully created world, to recognise God as the owner and manage it all for his glory and not our own. Jesus also wants us to show an attitude of grace towards what he calls the last. Who are the last? There are many in our world who fit that description. The Dalits, who are people belonging to the lowest caste in India, characterised as untouchable. The Rohingya people, refugees from Sudan, South Sudan, Somalia, Ethiopia, fleeing war and conflict. The list goes on. This workers' rights parable teaches that they, the last, will be first. At the end of the day, when handing out rewards, God in his kingdom will turn everything upside down. But not just that, he makes everyone equal. Everyone standing together, paid the same. Everyone in the kingdom of God has the same value and worth. No last or first, but equal. 
equal value and equal worth. That's the kingdom we want. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for transformation, that you will act in the most broken situations, bringing hope to those suffering in an unfair, unjust world. Prompt us to act, to find ways to preserve your beautiful world and to help the poorest, the most vulnerable, the last. Amen.